opening balance equity that's also a balance sheet liability equity and we're going to put that to paid in capital owner draws is another liability equity and that's going to reduce my paid in capital Retained earnings doesn't really apply. Uh, shareholder, no, I shouldn't have that on there at all. Um, let's get to the income and expense stuff. Uh, income, lead sold. Um, most of your income, almost all of it, uh, is should go to gross receipts and sales. Uh, so that's what I'm going to assign this stuff to. Again, your mileage is going to vary on what specifically your different tax, where you should assign your tax line items. So this is the kind of stuff that I'm saying, unless you know what you're doing when it comes to tax stuff. If you know what you're doing, if you've done your own tax returns before, um, this is nothing that's unfamiliar to you. You've done this type of thing before. If this is always something that you've you know, put in the hands of the accountant, um, or your tax preparer that's something that again that's what you should do in this case you know ask them where to assign these uh, different accounts and as a matter of fact what you can probably do is print off this report uh, send it to them and they can uh, send it back to you with you know telling you where to assign different things okay so advertising that's a type of deduction all of these are advertising Advertising, licenses and permits. That's the type of deduction. Licenses. Payroll I know I don't. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to skip that because I know there isn't any of that. Software. That is a... Thank you. Other deductions. Um, you know, when it comes to your tax forms, um, well, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll cover that in a second. Deductions. That's another other deduction. Training seminars, that's also an other deduction. Okay. So, uh, I've done all my setup work. So I'm going to cancel out of this, and now you see I've got something slightly different here in my income tax summary report. Now it's showing me I've got $692 of income, uh, $105 in licenses, $266 in advertising, $682 in other deductions. Uh, okay, so big deal, what does all of this mean? How do you use it? Uh, well, let me show you the IRS tax form, okay? Um, da, 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 this is, yes, this is it. Okay, so this is a 2007 version of the 1120S tax return, which is, you know, the S-Corp return, that's what we're doing. So, those lines on the report in QuickBooks generally correspond to um, the lines on this tax form. Okay, let me show you specifically income, gross receipts and, s and sales uh, is what I'm going to enter here. So I've got $692 in gross receipts and sales. So I can pull that straight over from QuickBooks and punch it into my tax return. Okay. Uh, deductions. I've got $105 in licenses and let's see taxes and licenses that's line 12 here so I'm typing that in 105 uh, 260 you round up to 267 for advertising advertising is line 16 267 uh, other deductions 
six round round up to six eighty three. Six eighty three. And, um, you know, as you see here, you know, this is outside of QuickBooks advice, but uh, other deductions, it says attach a statement. That is something where, you know, the IRS is going to ask you to, you know, attach a statement with a breakdown of how you, you know, what all went into those other deductions. And to get that, um, you can, uh, if you double click on this line, um, you can see how QuickBooks arrived at those numbers, okay? Um, you can see, uh, you know, you'd basically have a line item on a statement that you attach to the tax return that would say, like, 197 for software, $2, you know, $3 for telephone and internet, $483 for training and seminar expenses, okay? Um, lastly, uh, your, now you've got your balance sheet assets and balance sheet liabilities and equity. Uh, I believe, let's see, that's another page on the return. I believe it's the last page, yes. Okay, so then you can use that to fill out the Schedule L on the report. So, uh, what do we, we've got $52 in cash. We've got $805 as loans from shareholders, which is going to go here. And paid in capital minus $390. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to give you a full tax return lesson because I'm definitely not qualified for that, nor is that the point of this video. The point of the video is just to show you um, how you can use this report to help fill out your tax return. For Again, for more specific advice, if you don't know what you're doing with this, uh, it's definitely something that your tax preparer should use or, or you should be consulting with him before you go any further. Okay, so that is it for today. If you like this video, please rate it five stars. I do appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave me a comment or send me a private message. If you or your company needs QuickBooks file cleanup help or perhaps some training for your employees on QuickBooks, I'd love to discuss that with you. You can send me a private message or you can visit my website at www.goodbooksaccountingservice.com. Thanks a lot.